So I know you had some concerns and you had some questions for me. You love my baby. Love her to death. Love her to pieces. I know she love you. Yeah. And I know Jeffrey loves you. And I love him. Are you making her foot all the bills by herself? Because as a mother, you promised me that you would take care of her. I'm going to take care. I've been taking care of her for three years now. Because to me, you a child. Have you ever put your hands on either one of them physically? Nope. It actually takes a lot to get me mad. I'll like, stay that way. I feel like this is going very badly. I don't know what it's going to take for her to see the real me. You look me in my eye, because I got to learn to trust you. You can trust me. <sighs> Kendra, she would call me on the phone. I have heard so much arguing and bickering and throwing tantrums. He's controlling, dominant, verbally abusive. Prove me wrong. I could slap him sometimes. And I think he needs to get anger management. If you make me mad, we're going to fall out, because I'll let you have it. Ms. Marvelin contacted me and sent me a location for a test, but I don't like, you know, I don't know what, I don't know what it is, you know, so I'm going into this kind of like lost. Hello, how hey, are you? I'm Kareem, it's nice to meet you. Ralph, come on in. Okay. I am a little nervous because I know the last time me and Kiki's mom met, it didn't go as planned, so I'm just bracing for this one. I understand that your fiance's mother, Marveline, has some questions that she wants to ask of you so that she can feel comfortable about you marrying her daughter. OK, I'm an open book. I'm an open guy. She can ask me those questions. So that's OK with you? Oh, that's OK with me. Great. Let's go this way. OK. OK, so ooh, back where I'm from, um, that, that's a lie detector test. That's it. You nailed mm -hmm. it. I'm a polygraph examiner. I'm very shocked. I wouldn't expect her mom to go in on me like that at all. I'm lost for words at this point. I can talk to mama, and I'm very open, and I do, you know, but this. So you're, I, what I'm hearing is you have a concern about taking the test? It's not a, it, well, it is a concern, because where I'm from, this is, this is a no-no. It's a no-no to take a, a take, take a lie to take the test. Criminals take those. I'm neither a criminal nor a uh, future prisoner. So I don't see the, 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 I feel like this is very extreme. Like I've been nothing but good in my life and I have nothing to hide, but it's like we jumping too far. I just don't feel like morally it's right. I know how this goes. My dad had to go through this when he, when he went to prison. My dad's been in prison all right. my life. And my dad, he didn't work that hard for me to be doing the same thing as him. I'm going to decline this. Okay, nice to meet you too. All right. Uh, I feel like this is a very ridiculous ask. I feel mad, and I'm I, I just feeling really confused. I don't understand how we got to this point. Things have gotten too far out of hand. It's embarrassing, and it's not embarrassing on my part. No relationship could be mended from there. You know, if I have to take a lot of take the test for someone to believe me. And it's like, dang, is all of this even worth it?